Hi everyone, I am Florencia Sobral, Señora Sobral, your third grade Spanish immersion teacher. Welcome to third grade in this crazy times. I wanted to take a moment and introduce myself. I don't know when I'll be able to see you face to face, so I figured this is the best thing I can do right now. Um, I want to tell you a little bit about me. I am originally, fr originally from Mexico, but I went to, to college in Endicott, at Endicott in Massachusetts. I studied English and creative writing and a minor in Spanish and international studies, um, what feels like years and years ago. I have been involved in education in different capacities for the past 10 years. I've um, worked as the Head Start preschool teacher. I've worked as a special educator at Falmouth for two years. Then I moved to really middle school to teach Spanish. And for the last three years going on four, I've been teaching in the Spanish immersion program. Um, so I'm the longest standing member in the <laughs> immersion program and tough luck getting rid of, get, getting rid of me because I love what I do. Um, this class in particular, I'm very excited about. I remember meeting them when, when they were teeny little, little tiny things with Senorita Sanchez and seeing them grow has been pretty exciting. Um, I have a job for you. Uh, actually, I have two jobs for you. So the first one is in order for me to plan uh, accordingly for the incoming year with as many variables, um, as there are, I need to know who is going to be remote, fully remote, and who's going to be hybrid in the classroom with me. I don't have any answers in terms of the remote option. I don't know what is what it's going to look like or who's going to be in charge of that, but it would be very helpful if I know who's going to be with me in the classroom. Um, so I'll put on a survey in this email as well and the second job is every year or I, this is kind of a new tradition for me but i like to ask parents to write me a letter in a million words or less about your children um so if you can write me an email i'm not grading them obviously i'm not um i just want to get to know your children uh, through your eyes, what do you think their strengths are, things that you think they need to work on, something that you think is very important for me to know in terms of anything. It can be anything, dreams that the kids have, maybe struggles that the kids have, anything that you consider it's important for them, for me to know about them. And I also want you to include in that letter a dream, a dream that you have, a hope that you have for your kid during this school year. And I know it's a big one, given the way we're starting and the way we ended the last. Um, so feel free, a million words or less or more, if you want to write more. I really, truly enjoy reading them. I love getting to know that kids uh, thunder from a different perspective. Um, so a little bit about me, other than what I already told you. I have been living in Maine for the last 10 years. My little one is scared of thunder. Um, and I have two little children, Morgan, who is, how old are you, baby? Five. Five, and Sumner, how old is Sumner? Seven. Seven, and they go to Scarborough schools. Um, we're departing from the norm this year, and we're gonna go to St. James, because I could get them in full time, and I need to be in the classroom, right? Um, yeah, what do you think? Do you wanna say anything? No. No. Okay. Go away. I love you. Um, I have two dogs, three cats, twenty million chickens, bees. Um. Wow, that's a lot of thunder. Um, I think I already said it. I'm originally from Mexico. Um where I have a mother and a sister. My father passed away recently. Um, and I don't know. Oh, let's talk about third grade, um, which is what you care about the most. So third grade is a little bit of a departure from what you've been doing. The program changes. We go from 90% um, Spanish, 90-10, to more of a 75-80, uh, 25. Um, in in um, 
Spanish English because I introduce English in the classroom. And this looks as uh, science and social studies will do in English and follow the curriculum that everybody else, that the rest of the third grade does. So it's magnets and weather, very appropriate, magnet and weather for science, Portland uh, history, and the Wabanakis uh, for social studies. I still do social studies things in Spanish about Mexico. So we learn about traditions like Day of the Dead or the independence or um, traditionally, <laughs> I do a dance at the end of the school year. It didn't happen last year, obviously. Um, but it's, you know, one of the highlights for the kids and I truly enjoy doing that. Um, they also, I do read out louds for them in English and they really, really enjoy it. It's one of their favorite parts of the day. Um, we go, we read a lot. Um, I try to introduce them to books that they may not choose by themselves. Maybe they're a little bit more difficult for them to read, but still very interesting. I've had a lot of success in, um, their reading and their comprehension in English when I do read out lines in English. So bear with me on that one. I still read to them in Spanish on every other content, but we, I do dedicate some read out loud time in English, which is usually in, during lunchtime. Um, I think this year with hybrids, I'm gonna have two books going on at the same time so that nobody misses parts of the book. And then I'll swap them. I don't know, we'll figure it out. It's fun to play with things, right? And I also have two allotted reading times a day. So one, which is the longest one, where we work on our um, reading strategies. It's in Spanish. And then a shorter one at the end of the day or after recess. I don't know what day is going to look like, where they are allowed to read in English. And they really like that too. Um, they're always trying to read more in English, but it's very important. I've noticed that their literacy skills, which tends to be a really big concern at the beginning of kindergarten, really just flourish and skyrocket when I do this. Um, in that sense, I want to let you know that in the past three years, I haven't noticed any terrible discrepancies between the way they read in English and the way they read in Spanish. It kind of levels together is is very interesting i think the best advice i can give you and i'm sure you've heard this a million times before is have them read at home either read to them or ask them to read 10 20 minutes um put on the subtitles when they're watching youtube videos or put on the subtitles when they're watching tv it's it's those little things it just it triggers your brain right and they're playing video games which mine just started doing oh have them read what it says to you and that also helps any little bit helps um so the other thing that's traditional third grade is um, state testing is the first time they do state testing. Obviously, this didn't happen last year. I don't know if it's going to happen this. So instead of traumatizing you with that, I will hold off and then I'll let you know as soon as I know more. Um, and at the end of the year, we do Spanish proficiency and that's very special. I like to see how high they they've gone with their Spanish. We didn't do it last year, unfortunately. Um, so hopefully we can do fourth and third grade this year. Um, what we try to do is milestones, um, third grade to see the middle point and then fifth grade to see the end of, um, the end of their journey with us. It didn't happen last year. Again, we'll hopefully be able to do it this year with the sixth graders. Um, there's, there are a lot of questions around what the school year is going to look like. I am part of the LICED reopening committee. We meet tomorrow after the board has voted and hopefully I'll have more answers. Right now, I probably know as much as you do, um, but if you have any questions, any concerns, please don't hesitate to, to, to email me. Um, usually I am a lot more communicative than this, but I've, I don't know anything and I didn't want to stress you out by telling you, oh, I don't know anything, but here I am. Um, so now I, I can tell you that I don't know anything, but here I am. So shoot me an email if you need anything. I will, in the next couple of days, you will receive, hopefully, an, um, an invitation to my blog. This is how I communicate with you parents. It's a lot easier for me. Emails have a lot of, um, they fail a lot 
And I find out that the blog is the easiest way to have everyone concentrated in one spot. It's private. Only the people that I accept uh, can access it. And at the end of the year, I make sure everything is deleted um, so that, you know, nobody can get it other than me and you. Um, I just need to have it bedded this year as the district is looking for consistency. I also had a very fancy Google Classroom plan for you, but then I found out that we're doing CISO in third grade. I don't have access to that yet, but as soon as I have, you will be getting an email from me. Um, in terms of supplies, um, I will send you a list. I'm still kind of wrapping my head around that one. I think it needs to look a little bit different of what I've asked. Um, in the past, I will have kids bring things home every day. I think it'll be easier for them to have everything. So I definitely know, I mean, I can spew things out of the top of my head and maybe write them at the same time. But I, I know that I'll need a three ring binder with four folders. That will be the most important one. Math writing five folders so I can have a math, a writing, social studies, science, and a fifth one for any forms that I need to send home. So if those folders can have little holes, um, that way they're just inside the binder, I think it'll help keep the kids organized. And then a pencil case with pencil, um, we don't use pens, pencils, crayons, glue stick scissors um eraser a pencil sharpener because we're not going to be able to share pencil sharpeners um dry erase marker please a right erase marker i'm pretty sure i have erasers that i can give them their own um haven't been able to be in the classroom i'll be able to go in on friday um and super 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 important pretty pretty please um a spanish english dictionary i will not be able to allow them to share this year and it's very important that they have their own they'll be able to use them going forward as well um but one of my main goals is to increase their vocabulary and i need them to have a, a dictionary to be able to stop asking how do you say it drives me insane it really does um let's figure it out find your dictionary so we work with that um quite a lot so a dictionary and don't worry i promise i'll write this down um and then please and i know this is a big one but if you have if you can send tissues um tissues hand sanitizers clorox wipes that would be forever appreciated um this year more than ever we're i'm gonna be i'm usually pretty crazy about my cleanliness in my classroom if you've ever been in my classroom it's always pretty tidy but i'm gonna be extra crazy about this i'm a little paranoid um but i want to ensure that your children are safe um and as safe as i can keep them so if you can donate paper towels as well um and then you know usually i always need dry erase markers and things like that, but tissues and hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes will be a big one for us this year. So if you happen to be in the store and you can grab one, I would really appreciate it. When will you can send me this? I don't know, but as soon as I know more, I will let you know. Um, again, don't hesitate to answer. It is my policy to, this is a personal thing to answer to any and all emails that you have by nine o'clock at night. Um, and I'm always up around six. So I will either answer before I go to bed or right after I wake up. Although don't be surprised. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'll answer an email at one or two in the morning. I'm like that. I see it and I can't just let it be. Um, communication. I will communicate with you as much as I can. Um, even if I don't have all the answers, even if it's just to say, be on the lookout for an email from the district, um, uh, I anticipate to be communicating with you quite a lot. And that's, I mean, I mean it's a two-way street, right? Any questions you have, please don't, don't hesitate to send them to me. Um, oh, and I will be using YouTube in the event that we move to full remote, I don't know. Um, I have a YouTube account set up for read out louds, which are private. I will give you 
and any lessons that I have, I record and I'm put there. Um, it's every, everything's private, obviously, but, um, and your kids will never be shown. Um, and I will give you that, but there's videos there. So there you go. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I still have chances to be an influencer. Um, this is it. This is me. Crazy. Crazy as it gets, but it will be a really fun year. I'm very excited. Um, we do have a lot of fun in third grade. Uh, you'll hear I am quite crazy, but the kids quite enjoy it, and that's probably why I do it. So any questions, concerns, anything you need me to know, know anything you want to share with me, don't forget about that letter and that survey. And what is it that the YouTubers say? Like, subscribe, follow. <laughs> Have a good day.